Alright, what's on my single chance? How we all doing, man? We just got the GTA 6 trailer, man! We just got the GTA 6 trailer! Finally, we waited for 10 years for this joint! Lucia looking strong, she looking independent as well. We're gonna get into the story because we have 250 plus things that you missed in the GTA 6 trailer. As you can see, Lucia is strong, independent. Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, if you're excited. Dislike if you're not. I wanna know where you guys at. And guys, when the world needed him most, he came back. And I'm talking about the guy who calls Lucia, not Lucia, but Lucia. Bruh. Who said that? Let me know in the comments because we're talking about Mr. Boss for the win. Oh shit! He working overtime today, boys. Let's check it out. This I love the whole shot man. right here of a two-lane highway going one direction and a two-lane highway going another direction. We actually get to see a handful of vehicles heading away from us. We have a truck towing a boat. We have another cargo truck that seems to be like it's carrying spare tires. A Patriot beer semi truck. Damn. A motorcycle. A station. To be honest, bro, I really hope that the game is this alive when we get to wagon. See a it. sedan. A van. A red sports car coming towards us. We can see a blue SUV. A red sports car. What looks to be like an airport shuttle. A white van. A bus. And then a couple more vehicles driving towards us including another van and a box truck as they are driving towards us <laughs> with their headlights now yeah. what else is going on in this scene it looks like on this honest to god though do you guys think that we're gonna see this much traffic in the final game though do you think it's possible for us to see that many npcs that many animals obviously we had a ton of animals that we saw a ton of we even had a chihuahua though i'm not sure if you guys saw the chihuahua if you didn't know yes we had the chihuahua in this trailer i will point it out i will show you when we get to see it okay Okay. But we also had a ton of dolphins. We saw a ton of sharks, a ton of a ton of wildlife as well. Man, this game is looking absolutely amazing, though. I don't think we ever had a game looking this insane in terms of uh, the, the the fact that this game is this alive. We never seen that before. I just hope that it's true when we get to play it, though particular part of the world there's a couple of things it looks like there's a water filtration plant and it also looks like there's a prison so we'll talk about that as we get further on because yeah. that's where we see our main character lucia in the background yeah. in the far right hand corner he called her lucia not lucia that's the first time boys give it up for mr boss corner you can see what appears to be the remnants of another town or city it looks like it's very industrial as it has a massive set of smokestacks in the back you can also see a bridge that seems to be connecting one side of the city to the other on the opposite side of the prison. And as we get towards the left-hand side, you can see that there's this one massive spire. I'm not sure what it is, if it's this a one? massive radio tower or if it's something else all the way around, but you can see there's another city in the background and a smaller bridge that seems How to be- How many cities you guys think we're gonna have? Because, uh, yep, we are hearing that it's gonna have three cities, uh, four sub-towns, areas, and Sega's are calling that that is- And she got- This Karen got double hammers, man! That's a double homicide right there, but some stickers are also saying that that's a Florida man right there. Some people are also saying this is Tracy from GTA 5, you know, Michael's daughter. And yeah, there's some resemblance. There is, uh, kind of feels like her, to be honest. Uh, yeah, right? She looking like a snag, but obviously she's for the streets. Uh, it's not yours, guys. Uh, it's not yours. It just happens to be your time. Uh, it just happens to be your turn, okay? If that makes sense. But uh, this is Lucia right there. But I honestly hope that this game has more than one city i i do believe yeah we're here in three cities but i think genuinely it's gonna have one big city which is gonna be vice city but different areas so it's gonna feel like that we have more than one city thoughts on this one real quick? connecting sort of this waterway right here off to the left and then what looks to be a handful of birds possibly like little seagulls flying around as an airplane comes overhead and you can also see that there is a boat jettisoned by so you can tell that this waterway is accessible to vehicles and humans now the sunset or sunrise in the shot is going to be important because it directly yeah, connects us yeah. to our next frame and what yeah! we're looking i swear to god man the homie's working overtime and i waited i waited 10 years if Sega's gonna overreact if Sega's gonna overanalyze if Sega's gonna be uh, yeah guys this is that moment this is that moment this is that moment i was talking about everybody okay if you did not see a chihuahua you are about to see one guys it is about to happen it is <laughs> i think this would be more appropriate you see this little bozo? You see this little twat right there? I know, you must stay focused, guys. We got a lot of sisters out here. Bruh. Must stay focused. We must stay focused, my brothers. We got a lot of sisters, and uh, yeah, she looking like a snack right there. But all these sisters on the left, I mean, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Hell no. Mm -hmm. uh, but between them, we also have a little shivava. That's a that's a shivava right there, boys. That's my shivava, bruh. Looking at right here is another sweeping view of the prison. As you can see, this is kind of like a dual layered fence with razor wire or barbed wire on top. You can also see there's some remnants of clothing or trash on there. And you can also see those same birds flying in the background. Yeah. And you can also see vehicles parked in the background. So this is very likely the parking lot for the prison. You can also see- They made sure the barbed wires are there just to keep that Lucia Bunda inside. Bruh. See that there are lights in that parking lot a handful of palm trees as well. And it then transitions to this shot right here of our first main character, and that is Lucia. So mm. I don't know if she's gonna be starting the game in prison or if this is a flashback, but at some point in time, she is incarcerated. Yep. And there's a handful of things you can see here. She is looking outside. This looks to be her cell as there's a bunk bed there. And there are several inmates outside with several guard towers that you can see. Now on the top bunk, there's a picture. I'm not sure what that picture is of. And then there seems to be like two things also taped to the wall and on the picture in the bottom bunk you can actually see it looks like an individual wearing an orange shirt and then there's three women and i can't tell if the you, you, you see this picture right like right here i believe that's her family though and we had a rumor not long ago that did say that lucia got a kid though oh shit yeah she got a kid uh, you guys heard that uh, i wanna i wanna know if you heard that i wanna know your thoughts so yay the one in the green is Lucia. It kind of looks the most like her, but I'm not sure. She ends up flipping around and we get our first official look at Lucia, our first female protagonist in the Grand Theft Auto series, which is incredibly cool. And as we transition to the next scene, which I'll slow down in a little bit, we actually get one of our first bits of dialogue. And it comes from what looks to be this counselor at the jail talking to Lucia. Yeah. She says this. Lucia. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck. I that is opera, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So she asked Lucia. <laughs> Yo, what are the chances this is opera i was live streaming and, and a lot of you suckers were like yo that's opera bro that is opera bro and we did a side by side comparison and i don't think it is but she looks awfully similar she looks awfully similar to opera so y'all one in the chat if you think that's opera two if you think nah little bro that ain't no opera man that's just a strong independent prison guard or prison lady so Lucia, do you know why you're here? And Lucia responds with bad luck, I guess. So that's going to be the iconic phrase of this trailer. Michael had, why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. And Lucia's yeah. got bad luck, I guess. But anyway, It would have been insane if they were like, why did I move here? I guess it was a bunda. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and that break down that crazy. shot. We actually can see from the little name placard there that whoever is talking to Lucia, her name is Stephanie. Opera? And she also oh, looks Stephanie, like she okay. is a professional counselor at this jail. Now, a couple of things. On yeah, this is where it's written here, like right here her desk and in the background she has several pictures what looks like to be from her personal life as well as a picture on the desk it looks like there's a folder possibly with the things that lucia has done in terms of the crime and she also has a lanyard as well as a necklace around her neck now it also transitions to lucia we can see her from the front and in the background we can see a painting of a mountain range and a boat as well as like a yellow safety vest and a couple of books and what looks to be some sort of pamphlet so this basically sets the scene for lucia we know that she's in incarcerated and that she is in jail at some point during the game now our next shot is very impressive it takes us to the emerald colored waters of vice city and in this Yo, this shot looks so ridiculously good you got like all them dolphins out here we also had a bunch of sharks this scene feels very alive it's honestly amazing i feel like that if i were to show this entire shot to my parents or to somebody that has no like uh what was the word no understanding of video games or they don't play video games right they would be like it's real life it is real life you are lying they they would freak out they would freak first out first shot right here if i were to tell them that this is a game i was able to notice a handful of things the first is turtles look at the underwater life right there oh, there's what? going to be turtles that you can see swimming Okay, I didn't see no turtle, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, th there was a turtle that we missed. By, you also look like you're going to able to see these super yachts that you can either drive or... We got seagulls as well. Yay, look at these turtles inside. Or pilot, which is pretty neat. You can also see dolphins jumping out as well as yeah, a here. shark. That's kind of neat as well. So there is a lot of interesting wildlife that is going to be returning. Actually, a handful of sharks that you can see. And as we get closer to the shore, you can see a speedboat racing by. You can see a couple of jet skis closer to the shore. A bunch of seagulls flying by as well. A handful of people standing in the water. And as we get to the beach, an absolute ton of NPCs. Yeah. And it looks like ton. various colored umbrellas. How many of you think this is what we're gonna see in the final version of the game? One if you believe that, two if you don't. 
Three if you're like 50-50, it depends. This is where I'm gonna lean. Uh, I'm not gonna say that we're not gonna see that many NPCs. The reason being, we're talking about Rockstar games and uh, with Rockstar Games, I believe it though. But the rest of the games and the rest of the gaming industry made me believe that we're never gonna see the actual. If wh whatever we see in the trailer is simply put, not gonna be in the game. The trailer is <laughs> just just like a marketing ploy. It's to get you sucked in. It's just to hit you in the G spot. It gets you do dope mean. Uh, and make no mistake. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what the trailer serves for. It gets you invested. It wants you to be interested, intrigued, and. Basically Basically buy the game or buy the product in this case buy the game right 110 percent but but with everybody else cyberpunk prime example don't want to compare it cyberpunk right now is looking very good uh it did a massive comeback but still though it, it's still not what it was supposed to be remember when we first saw that first ever e3 gameplay demo for cyberpunk which was a, a, around approximately 48 minutes it, that was apparently fake. Oh, shit. Oh, it was shit. completely fake. It was a render cutscene. It was a render CGI cutscene where they inflated uh, and they just t put in NPCs after NPCs. They just try to inflate. Inflate? Is that the word? Oh, uh, there's another word that's not coming up right now. But 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 yeah, right. So they that was apparently a render scene. Now I do believe that this is a render scene as well. But I'm willing to give them uh, the benefit of the doubt just because of their track record gta 5 phenomenal game red dead redemption 2 phenomenal game so i do believe that this game is gonna be uh be good uh, and we had leaks for the ps5 pro which i want to talk about in a second and lifeguard stands this is pretty typical if you go to a beach in a very popular area different resorts will have different colors to represent their brand so i guarantee you that's what we're looking at right here and then we get our first look at the vice city skyline and boy does this city look absolutely Holy. sprawling You've got giant skyscrapers, tons of palm trees, what looks to be lots of residential areas. And in the same frame, we're able to see Rockstar a couple of things happen presents, as the yeah. Rockstar Games Presents logo comes on screen. We're able to see a plane flying towards the main part of the city. It all That's it, boys. We're going to be making videos every single day. And once the game comes out, we're going to be playing it every day, bro. Hopefully this game lives up. To also, the looks like there is a beach helicopter flying over. And we also see this Dodo seaplane that looks to be flying some sort of advertisement or billboard. Now, from what I can see, it says 9 one nine and in the lettering part you can see it says y69 when you can 919 i'm sure we'll figure more about that as we get going on and Brand. as that shot goes over the city you can see more cars in the street it also and i don't know if this is just one little thing it looks like there's this green either towel or inflatable on what i'm going to say like the seventh or eighth row of this building right here i found that to be kind of interesting for no other reason than it's like a color that just jumped out to me and again the city sort of fades to black in the background now after we get past that rockstar games presents we're hit with this shot right here and Crazy, the one thing i man. found that's kind of interesting is you see that little oscillating arm right there with the it looks like that i'm watching a miami 4k video on youtube where you, you know like if you if you ever want to like travel the world but you don't have the money or you don't have the time for it or uh, or you just want to see what a city looks like before traveling or are you just like an enthusiast right just search up like any city you want and just put 4k and you're gonna see like drone shot people walking on the streets with their phones or actual like dslr cameras and you get the full view of the nightlife the night city and also how everybody walks around i guess and moves around the bruh. city yeah and this when i look at this i mean holy mother of god bruh. like this is looking insanely real red and the white that's going to indicate that there's a train or at least some sort of like subway or metro system possibly the vice city metro mule that we saw from the leak that, yeah that, it was leaked in the game plus well we're, we're gonna have it hopefully leaks that it's going to be going through the city as the lights are flashing and it looks like these two matching buildings right here are definitely residential areas as you can see on top there's yellow umbrellas and you have people standing towards the ledge i feel like this is rockstar just trying to show us how deep the world is going to be with the npc activity but at the same rate also possibly play Places that we'll be able to purchase and in that same shot once again we see a yo imagine though like the actual properties are like a hundred million you gotta buy with the shard card <laughs> yo that would be crazy lucy i'll be like strong independent you are gonna buy for me for a hundred million shard cards hopefully they do not do a double megalodon which costs like say uh 200 bucks to get it because i believe the the normal megalodon is like what a hundred a benji bruh you get eight million in game right for hundred dollars uh, I hope they don't do that 
join, bro. Plane going by. In almost every single shot, there's been an airplane passing by, which again, very cool. I'm not sure why Rockstar is doing all that, but it just goes to show you that it's going to feel like a very... Okay, a uh, quick little thought on this one. If we have that many NPCs, that many people, and that many sisters on the beach, uh, that many cars, uh, that many seagulls, uh, wildlife, uh, sharks, dolphins... I really hope we got a lot of planes flying uh, in the sky, or at least we see a lot of planes uh, at one time as well. Because yeah, like normally the flights take off every five minutes, right? And especially in a big city like Miami active world. Now from there, we jump to the Everglades. There's a lot going on here. You can obviously see that the weather looks completely different here. You've got this orange haze, orange fog, just like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2, different parts of the world are going to offer different types of weather. And as this fan boat is going by, which I can't tell how many people are here, it looks at a minimum, this can have three people, one person in the back, and then two people up front. And it looks like whoever the person up front is has a shotgun armed with them or some sort of weapon. So maybe they're doing some hunting or maybe they're trying to fend off some people that are not very happy with them. And in that same thing, you can see some like ducks or mallards flying away, obviously disturbed by the fan boat racing by. You can also mm. see a handful of trees and foliage as it cuts to our next shot right here, which gives us more looks at the wildlife. Of this has the same energy like, uh, wake up, honey, we got a GTSX trailer. And honey's like, yo, why are you disturbing me right now? This game, we can see a handful of different birds like herrings and flamingos. We can also see alligators and even ducks sitting in here and Crazy, even man. this interesting creature in the back i'm not actually sure what this is so if you guys can help me out with that and that's Gator. also something good to mention as well that if you see something that i missed or didn't point out please let me know yeah we also had deers in the background this is something that was pointed out by when we were live streaming a viewer pointed that out so yay my brother so we got deers in the background as well so approximately five of them and the gator is just chilling right here and we got like baby ducks there as well man this game is gonna be insane bro how in those comments down below I'd i hope it's this alive love to hear from you guys down there we're definitely gonna be doing more than just this video so obviously more breakdowns are gonna be coming but <laughs> we know my brother let's laugh together boys <laughs> We know, my brother. We know, you've been working overtime, and realistically, nobody deserved this trailer more than Mr. Boss for the win. There I said it, Lucia be like strong, independent, I say you go, queen. You go, man. Get those tatas out there, bruh. Anyways, let's transition to our next scene right here. And yeah, this one. We must stay focused, my brothers. This is gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Because we got a lot of sisters out here. I'm trying to find that uh, here. Yeah. We got a lot of sisters out here, though. There is a lot going on as we have now transitioned yeah. to the Vice City Beach. And it is absolutely packed. And one of the things that I've noticed here is the different variety in the NPCs and the things they seem to be doing and wearing. I'm talking about size, shape, whether they're fit or unfit, the activities they seem to be doing. Like, for example, on the left-hand side of the screen, this guy in the red shorts and the white cap, he's putting on suntan spray on this lady who's just standing there letting it happen. Yeah, she... I was just letting that happen. Yeah, like, this homie is uh, putting that spray tan on the sister out here. Damn, bruh. I mean, good, bruh. You have the three women in all different bathing suits, and some even have different tattoos and accessories yeah. walking towards the camera. You've got this- Yeah, sisters be walking closer to the camera, though. Absolutely shredded couple that looks like they do a ton of CrossFit. They and their little chihuahua dog are running yeah, on go, the boys. beach. Yeah, that's the chihuahua right there, boys. As we get on the right-hand side, you see a couple of people sunbathing, either sleeping or sitting up. You can actually see one guy in the do-rag yep. and sort of the teal shorts. He's actually taking a selfie of some girl leaning over and twerking, which is incredibly interesting. Yeah, this 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 one right here. Bruh. Like th this is what we call Sims. This is a this is a Sim right there. This is an OnlyFans supporter right there, bro. Bruh. Interesting. And even our characters in the background seem to be doing just a variety of things, whether it's standing around and talking, whether it's sitting underneath the umbrellas. It looks like we've got a name of a brand here. This is called Soul Sisters Vice Beach. I would not be shocked if that's like a resort or a hotel in any way, shape, or form. Same with the pink umbrellas in the background. It looks like that is certainly going to be a different brand. And as we look towards the water, there's Holy a lot going on as well. It looks like there is a lifeguard SUV truck that has a trailer backing 
something in the water, possibly boats or jet skis, which you can see on the right hand side as well. And once yep. again, a ton more vehicles. I think I spot the same light. The, the chopper as well. And we see some like right here. Dog, this is absolutely insane. So I didn't know the detail he mentioned, like different brands. Uh, like at the beach, uh, there are different brands and they have different colors. I mean, makes sense, right? But I didn't know about that. And if that is true, I think it's true. Uh, we, we see that representation happen in the game as well. There's there's shit ton of research that went into this one. Uh, it's gonna be an amazing game, man. I hope it lives up to the hype. Lifeguard helicopter from one of the first shots. We also have the Sea Sparrow that looks like it's coming in for a landing, as well as another airplane that is flying by in the skies above. Very, yep. very cool stuff. A handful of other helicopters look like they're passing by as well. I just yep. want to point out the amount of density here. Look how many NPCs are on this beach. That, to me, is absolutely incredible. And the last thing I'm able to make out is what looks to be some building in the background that says heights. I can only Which imagine one? that that is like an apartment complex or a set of condos something along those lines uh, can a brother get a zoom in or with your mouse like I'm doing here like can you point it out because I cannot find it but here's the thing though how many of you guys believe that that many NPCs on the streets uh, can be problematic for example right I think NPCs on the beach perfectly fine like this many uh, and in let's just say in swamps when we have a lot of wildlife that's also gonna be fine but on the streets if we have a lot of cars that's ca that can be problematic simply put like for example if you want to go from point A to point B be, uh, you don't want to be driving normally, right? Like it's GTA, you're going to be breaking the law. Like, let's be real, you're going to be speeding, you're going to be going fast, uh, furious, uh, Vin Diesel style. So if you got a lot of cars, I mean, you're not going to be able to drive. So I think we need NPCs on the sidewalk, like walking. Uh, we need a lot of uh, a lot of NPCs on the beach, on the sidewalks, 100%. But in terms of cars, I hope that we have an ability in the game, like a uh, web uh, NPC density, slider vehicles density slider where we can turn the slider up you see a lot of cars right there where we can turn it from none to minimum to max uh, medium to max right i i want to see something like that uh the game is not coming on pc sadly if you didn't know uh it, it probably gonna come out a year or two years after it has come out on playstation and xbox not coming out on ps4 and xbox one i mean let's be real if it were to Lucy, I wouldn't be able to be strong even, and, and the PlayStation 4 is probably gonna blow up, though. Let's just keep a buck 50, though. But, 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 yeah, I wanna know your thoughts on that slider, density slider thing. Now, we move on to our next shot, and we actually get to see a very cool industrial area of Vice City. You can see that in the background, there's this tiny bridge that sort of connects what I think is this industrial island to the main city. You can also see, once again, a plane flying above and this massive cargo ship that is unloading all these different containers. And we can actually recognize a handful of brands there from the Grand Theft Auto series. You've got Jetsam as well as Bill Gecko. And you can see the shipping company is PVCSO. I bet that is Port of Vice City shipping something. That would be my guess. And then whatever cargo ship that is, is BTN Delmar. I'm not sure mm. what that means either, but as we get same, into same, the trailer, same. you can see that it is unloading and offloading those cargo ships. And then we've got these speedboats chasing down what looks to be our main speedboat right here. It is black, red, and yellow, and it has a Clarion symbol on the side or Clarion yeah, hey. logo. I'm not sure if that is the name of the boat or if that is some sort of sponsor as this looks like a livery, but you can see there are multiple different types of speedboats here. This black and yellow one is different from the blue and white one that you can see in the back. Round. Now, moving yeah. on to our next shot right here. There we are, boy. That is strong. Impending. Now, I'm really hoping they do not emasculate my boy Jason because Lucia, we all seen it. She's strong. She independent. She acting like it. She living life. She is the beacon of hope. She's a beacon of light for all the strong, independent women out there, right? So we love it. Absolutely. Make no mistake. Love a female character. Strong in character. Absolutely. But I also want to see Jason being strong as well. Not independent. Please don't give him a Bud Light. Do not emasculate our homie, uh, our brother Jason, though. I don't know if this is just going to be a random event that we stumble across or if it's a part of a mission because you can see you've got a guy driving, you have an NPC girl in a sports car, and if we take a look... At nah, that's probably Lucia. Is not, is, this is not Lucia? Wait, what? My life has been a lie? At the signage, you can see 404 oh, West takes you to Kelly County, and if you go to 97, it'll take you to Vice City International Airport, and if you get off at State Route 3, it'll take you to Catalan Boulevard and yeah. Stockyard. Also, interesting little detail is she got the lashes. She got those... Ding, 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 ding. She can fly with that. Ding, 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 ding. 
she can fly with that. So that's another interesting detail I spotted, Mr. Boss. As well as downtown. Bruh. I bet that area we were just at is technically the stockyard. So this is a really cool scene. The hair movement here is honestly what does it for me. The speed limit, 70 miles an hour. I don't know if they're going 70 miles an hour. But you can see as this girl is leaning out of the roof of the car. The with your slow motion, it makes me believe that they're going two miles per hour, bruh. Like, let me just keep a box here. <laughs> guy in the driver's seat looks up to make sure she's doing okay and look at this really cool building in the background it almost looks like that is a sporting arena it looks absolutely massive we know that vice city is going to have its own sports team so that with the sort of bluish to purple to pink that looks pretty awesome yep. there's a car show going on in another neighborhood there's a handful of vehicles right here including what looks to be a pmp 600 a ton of different low riders as well we're going to be going into all the different vehicles in a separate video because a there's so I'm not like super big on the cars but seconds are pointing that out that's like a shiverly or what's the 300 something right uh that actually passed through and this was we were live streaming earlier right and seconds were pointing out that these are real cars and the, they definitely are real cars but i think they will be inspired by real cars and the brand's name are probably not gonna be real i don't at least not for every single car i, I don't think they were able to get the rights for every single car in the world right i do believe that some might actually have a real brand and that would be awesome right because see like listen we had a ton of rumors that came out that did say that this game is gonna have a budget of approximately two billion can a brother get two pennies <laughs> can a brother get two pennies so we're hearing two billion so it kind of makes sense. It definitely does make sense. They might have got rights for a lot of these people. Mini, and I want to go more specific, but you can see they're sort of parked in these tow away zones and no parking zones. And it looks like this is sort of a dynamic car show as NPCs are standing around with their phones, taking pictures, huddled around various vehicles. There's yeah. also a ton of graffiti, not only in the car show area in which they're pulling in, but also on the walls surrounding it. So I feel like this is a very specific area where activities like this are pretty common. And I don't know what's going on, but you can also see a police helicopter hovering above so i don't know if this event is gathering a police presence but there is a police helicopter above we transition to our next scene right here which i know is important for a lot of people this confirms that a strip club is returning this looks like the jack of hearts strip club that we were able to see from the gta 6 leaks there's a lot going on here i'll do my best <laughs> it's called make it rain mondays yeah. which is hilariously specific yeah. you can see there is some female dancers that are having money through yeah sisters are dancing and i believe that this sister was tired right like it was her bedtime so she's going to sleep right now so yeah we have a, a, a homie just trying to help her out trying to help the sister we have another sister uh telling her yeah you're looking kind of sick right now you you should definitely get some rest so yeah sister trying to sleep right now there's a lot going on thrown on them as they are dancing and twerking there seems to be a lot going on here there's also a handful of dancers that are carrying champagne in this sort of illuminated circle with sparklers coming on top there's balloons everywhere there's looks to be a ton of npcs there is also there's a lot more than just the balloons out here my boy <laughs> a secondary balcony level and there is money absolutely everywhere on the stage on the floor i didn't even see the floor Yo, can i really get two of them or something like Bruh. that bro i just want to go there and like you know all the paper that's like lying there just like grab it though till i went back and looked at this a second time there is money absolutely everywhere so i don't know if this is going to be a business that's place haram, or bro. a that, that is haram bro like place or something in the middle there might be both but anyways that is the strip club this next shot right here i don't know who they're showing off it might just be a random npc an important character but look at the detail uh, somebody actually pointed out that's like a rapper uh i forgot his name tail here from the chains around his neck to the ring on his finger, to the watch on his wrist, to the tattoos on his arm sleeve, and even some of the things that you might not think about, like the underarm hair and the hair on his face, and even the gold grills. Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, yo, what? What you talking about, bruh? You're looking this deep? I, I mean, yeah, like, uh, you gotta look deep for the breakdown, but don't look that deep, bro. He looking way too deep. He looking way too deep into the armpits there, bro. 
on his mouth. And as he goes to give a handshake to his friend, you can even see the details on him, the bandana, the beard, the chain, and even look in the background. There seems to be people watching on. It looks like this individual just got out of a car, so it seems to be a particular meeting of sorts. And there's even a billboard in the background advertising yeah, right something, here, but right it's a little here. bit blurry. You can't yep. see anything. And then right it transitions here. to this shot right here. And oh, wow, wait. look at Vice City. It looks like there is going to be a toll booth as well, which- Yeah, like we're gonna be able to go here, 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 and here, and here, and here. Love you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome on in, gang gang. We'll be returning gang, from gang. Grand Theft Auto 4. I always thought that was kind of a neat feature. And look at all the yachts in the water. They range from kind of tiny size yachts, which feels weird to say, to yeah, massive right super yachts that you can see on the right-hand side. It looks like this is a very wealthy recreational and residential area. It also looks like there is a tennis court too. So that ability certainly looks like it might be returning. And if you look at the island on the left-hand side, and even on the right-hand side, those are some massive mansion so we're starting to see kind of where the rich people of vice city are going to live and in the sky once again yeah, you've got this is where we gotta go in this is where the robbery is gonna happen i'm pretty sure there there's gonna be like a like a character in the game side character that's similar to michael uh what i'm saying what i'm trying to say here is that somebody that's rich right probably living here got a helicopter and then we're gonna got rob. planes and on the streets you've got lots of vehicles sports cars with white stripes going down the middle black and white vans pickup trucks it looks like there's a ton of vehicle variety as well and even a police boat in the water as you guys can see and just look at how the clouds look in the sunset this is an absolutely yeah right here police cars here and the clouds yay yeah beautiful plane flying here we have a chopper here police uh, right here shot right here man oh man i can't wait to dive into the world of vice city but let's move on to our next shot right here and this looks like we're on ocean beach drive and man is there a lot going on not a only lot. in terms of vehicles where i see classic cheetahs and grotty carbon is there just like there is a lot going on we better get a lot of mr bus for the win videos too my brothers give it up for the homie drop a like boys there's as well as uh roadster variant comments and even pagasi vehicles again we will deep dive into all the vehicles in a few future video, but I kind of want to look at just a handful of the things I noticed here. It looks like there's either a restaurant or an establishment called Neptunes. Yeah, this guy is also taking a picture as well of that. We have a brother. I think this guy is asking for money. So we have a homeless person here. Guy is coming out of damn, man. This is like a wild recreation of uh, stuff that I see in real life as well, where, you know, you would see a homeless guy asking for money and then there would be a rich guy driving like a really good car and coming out of that. And then there would be seconds that would be taken pictures of the luxury hotels and the luxury restaurants. Yay, like I, I, I feel this. I feel this one. This is relatable though. As well as a hotel that looks like it's called Boardwalk. You can even see into the rooms, which is kind of cool. There's also something called the Hotel Dixon, as well as the Ocean View <laughs> Hotel that has sort of the pink neon right there. Dixon? And going on on the right-hand side of the street, you can see that there is someone that is homeless. Looks like there's begging for money. So it looks like that's something that's returning from Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. We saw that featured in a lot of the main cities like Saint Denis. And look at that little like outdoor heater. I just noticed that as well. That is yeah. an exceptionally bougie Holy. feature that I would imagine you would see in some of the more wealthy areas bougie bougie yeah that's a bougie feature man but you want to know what else is bougie mr boss for the man okay i'm not then, gonna say what's that on cool the video about though that... i'm not a wow though i'm not gonna say on the video guy's though. white car is Come he's on, got the guys. license plate of cheetah and that is the Grati Cheetah. So kind of a cool little detail there from Rockstar. Our next shot right here transitions us into a nightclub and a DJ preparing their set. And I'm not sure what the theme of it is here, but I do see a lot of crescent moons. So that's something to keep in mind. And also this sort of like gold tinfoil on the front of her little set. I see a fan, obviously NPCs dancing, one of them waving a fan with palm tree leaves on there. So yep, that looks one. to be like a pretty neat scene. Our next shot is exceptionally impressive. It looks like this is gonna be- uh, I, And this is something that I brought up on the, uh, on live stream, but I just cannot help it to bring it back uh, again. And other people are also pointing out, I'm, I'm not the only one that's noticing this. Everybody is that has seen the leak map. The, the bridge confirms the GTA 6 le leak map is real. Now keep in mind, again, I said it before because this is the truth, right? This is a concept fan made map, but it's made from the actual gameplay leaks from the GTA 6. So therefore it's a real deal. Is the final map gonna look like this? Probably gonna be a bit different, but this is the premise of the map. And you see this uh, area right here, this bridge here? Yep, 
it reminds me of that. It definitely is that area though. So this map is gonna be very close to being the real thing, but it's not the real thing, but it's used, uh, it's it, it's made from the real leaks, if that makes sense. Be a part of the map that is connecting us to sort of the Florida Keys. And there is a lot that I see here. Let's start with the vehicles first. We've got- a Yeah, we got the boat here. We got the trucks uh, or not the truck, but I I'm not sure what you call it. Small boats, big boats, uh, I believe container uh, area. Uh, and look at that bridge, those small little islands. We got probably got some puddles. Yo, hey, yo, puddles? Really? Puddles? Yo, what you call them? They're not puddles, but <laughs> yo, this is this is me right now. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. What's the name? What's the word? What's the word, bro? Bruh. This is me right now. A dodo seaplane flying into the shot. We've got a handful of cargo yes. ships that you can see as well yeah, on the ship. left hand side. One really big and one kind of small lagging behind it. You can see a handful of big yachts as well. And if you really want to compare the size, guys, look at these small cars and you are able to compare it. Oh my god. Some bigger than others, some smaller, and then a ton of vehicles driving on the highway. And it looks like it is a two lane highway heading towards the island and then a two lane highway heading away from the island. And I can yeah. already see a stunt jump in the making. There. Is it look this this yeah i was gonna point it out i was gonna point it out i think this is what he's gonna end this yeah right here though so this is gonna be crazy this is like off-road uh, off-road this is why you're not seeing any cars go that way looks like there is another bridge that is either under construction or has been completely closed it looks like they tried to dynamite it off and you have to jump on the bridge in order to get there now one other thing that i think is interesting what is this little white balloon over here is that a hot air balloon is that a blimp I'm unable to tell what that is. It looks like it's on its own little it. island over there. So Where, bruh? I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. This Oh, this one right here? Is that the one you're talking about? It might be a vehicle that requires a ton of space. Either way, this is a very exciting part of the world. Now, our next shot takes us to the rooftops of Vice City, what I'm going to assume is a penthouse or a luxury apartment. Damn. And we can see this woman yeah. in a white bikini. And the pattern on her bikini is one that you might actually recognize. It's an in-game brand, Sasanta Nove. I think it's actually a parody of- Damn, though. Like, we must stay focused, my brothers. We must stay focused. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Louis Vuitton. As she twirls around, you'll notice a handful of details like her sunglasses, earrings, necklace, even the way her hair flows. It looks incredible. And there's a handful of other NPCs in the background just doing random relaxing things, sitting in the hot tub, drinking a fun drink, looking at their cell phone. But just look at the level of detail here. It's absolutely incredible. And in the- Yeah, she got a big, uh, big burn out here though. Background. Is that Lucia? I think it's someone, someone else. See, once again, a helicopter flying by. You can also see an airplane passing by too. And as we transition to the yeah, next right shot, here. a big signage of Vice for Vice City appears as the sun rises quickly in the sky, essentially confirming that this game is taking place in Vice, Vice City. City. And the next couple of shots are incredibly interesting. It seems to be a parody of various social medias, whether that be Instagram or TikTok. Yo, somebody actually pointed out that this is like Jeff Bezos, you know what I'm saying? Like, guys, I... <laughs> I swear to God, man, some of you suckers are just looking way too deep, though. That's like dad, bod, bod squad. Hey, poppy, save some sugar, baby, for the rest, <laughs> rest of us. And you can follow as well. Like and subscribe and follow, my brothers or Twitter or Facebook Live, but they all seem to be sort of documenting various crazy things happening in the world of Vice City. So this one comes from Dad Bod Squad, who you can follow. A hey, Poppy, save some sugar baby for the rest of us. And I guess Dad Bod Squad. You're looking at the uh, the, the body animations here and the skin tones and the way we see, you see the muscles. I don't know if this is like gra real graphics or not, but this kind of reminds me of the Ally Noir. Uh, Ally Noir when it first came out it was absolute leap in graphics and the facial animations because you know it was a game where you had to question and if you are if the guy just uh lies to you you're able to see the twitches in the eyes and the face uh, in the face and the facial animations uh were absolutely top notch there's no game that comes close to that so rockstar really killed it uh so uh, it, it reminds me of that game when i see the the skin tone the muscles and the animations and the twitches because it does feel very very real though like i would not be shocked if this is like a real video or a render video I, i'm not sure if this is like real graphics like listen i'm starting to doubt if this is real or not guys uh and that's uh what's this called that's a compliment that is a compliment because it looks very good 
squad is the guy on the front of the yacht with the American flag, and you can see all the other girls in the bikinis dancing behind him as an airplane goes across Vice City. There's even a handful of other dudes in there. This looks like one massive yacht party. Extremely cool. The next shot right here, it doesn't get any more Florida than this. It comes from Official Poach, which I can only imagine is like an animal control service here that we might see. They say, stay alert, Vice City. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. And this guy is- Those of you that are in Miami, like, is it frequent to see gay? come to your pool like that I, I i don't think it is but obviously this is a game so it's the exaggerated version where chicks are twerking around doing the haram and all that crap uh obviously happens in the re real world but 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 is that this week one though because holy literally fishing an alligator out of the back of this pool how hysterical is that? You guys can see some of the other foliage going on in this backyard, which is Amazing, absolutely bro. gorgeous. Our next shot right here comes from yeah, Have like a Vice this. Day. As someone said, someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck with the eyes emoji, Have a Vice Day. And it's a woman twerking in sort of a onesie with fishnet on the top of a vehicle with other passengers inside as it seems like they're just riding down the city and in front of all the shops because there's people in the background that you can actually see there just sort of walking around like, what is going on here? It then transitions to what looks to be another random event. We are in the end times, my brothers. Repent now. Repent now. Or more like, repent now, my brothers. Repent now. That you might stumble across. This one looks like it'll probably occur at night. As you can see, all four roads Tokyo of Drift the intersection boys. have been Tokyo Drift 5, boys. shut down. And it looks like there's someone filming the purple car in the center as the two cars are drifting around it. And there is probably about 100 or so NPCs just standing there and watching this all unfold. Now, the only other thing I really see in this shot is that green store right there, which has a phone number of 305-555. And then the last four digits are 0127. And it looks like this is some sort of Spanish food service or food market. I'm not sure, but it looks like there is some Spanish writing on there. So that's a pretty cool scene that'll just go to show you how many NPCs are around and just how much chaos there can be at certain parts of the night. It then transitions back to another sort of Instagram, Facebook Live little parody. Someone with the username 13 said going crazy, fire emoji. OG Zaza Nugget said the best song right now. Long time coming. We really out cheer. Shiny said AO catch a vibe with a bunch of smiley faces. Your girl 99 finna spin to block with this one. And then lick lick. This is a poop bomb. So you can see that these two girls are dancing and they've got a ton of accessories on sunglasses. This one even has a chain RR. It wouldn't be surprised if that trip club. That, the minute transitions to this CCTV camera footage of a gas station convenience store and literally a gator entering. How Crazy, weird man. is that? There's going to be some wild stuff here, and you can see people running away. There's a handful of brands that I noticed here. Like yeah, brother definitely needed your snack. I need a snack. This is why I entered. Like, this is uh, free snacks, I guess, guys. Go Postal, which is an in-game postage service, as well as what looks to be a new Vice City lottery that says a new billionaire every week. Now, this I don't know if there's things that are purchasable in here. Yeah. Like, for example, if you'd be able to go up to the convenience store and just grab some stuff. Looks like there's pastries and donuts, certainly drinks and fruit that you can buy too. And outside the store, looks like there's a handful of vehicles at the various pumps and then a handful of NPCs literally just watching the gator come inside of the store as mm. chaos ensues. And the only other thing this shot identifies is where the camera was facing the front door and it happens at about 10 a.m. Now this transitions to another shot. This is actually some police body camera footage and it looks like they're knocking the door down on either like a drug house or something along those lines. You can see this police with a backwards hat right here is carrying an assault rifle. The one that we actually have the body camera footage of, he has a pistol Pistol, and the one on the left hand side entering has handcuffs and a pistol with a flashlight on there too. Now once they barge into the house it transitions into another social media parody. <laughs> this one coming from Planet Leonida Man. And he says usually got to hit the strip club to see Jiggle like that for real. And you can see the sheriff department is chasing this fat guy down the street that seems to be wearing basically not any clothing at all. This is also at an arrow gas Is it a guy or a gal though? But that definitely is a stud donut there. Station Arrow, one of the popular in-game GTA brands you can see there is what looks to be like a lawn service yeah this is what i was trying to say like um i i think the cars are gonna be real uh but there will be some changements so they do not get hit by a copy strike like that one chick once said uh, so they do not get like takedown requests uh, in all reality because we have seen that happen to call of duty and other games in the past 
where maps Call of Duty had Activision had to remove literal maps from the game because they requested takedowns the owners requested takedowns so uh, I think some brands might be real but others are probably gonna be GTA like for example this one right here this is a prime example truck there as well as a red pickup truck that might have six wheels and if you're wondering what the police car says it says Leonida County Sheriff or something along those lines about a certain county in Florida so this is an absolutely hilarious vehicle as then a big silver truck comes passing by our next one general custard cannon <laughs> only in Leonida is a crotch grab an apology for bad driving and you can see that this crazy guy gets out of the car it looks like a, a fit of road rage that is happening yes he does grab his crotch and you can see that he is I guess apologizing for some bad driving yep. but in the background we can see a few more apology accepted me like for example if you head east at exit 148 it'll take you to vice beaches port vice city and the keys and if you head west it'll take you to kelly county and the vice city international airport and it also looks like there is some sort of toll pass so you might be able to acquire this so that you don't have to pay the toll going through specific areas yeah. and other than that it reminds it me of that gta4 when you were able to either pay or you could break so i think we're gonna be able to break it i mean hell nah bro i ain't paying any any pennies man i'm gonna just be looks breaking like there that, is a bro. lot of construction going on right now and in the background we see some sort of wanted billboard this is for panty sniffing i guess that is a thing in leonida and there's also a billboard on the right yeah this is where panty sniffing i don't know hand side that seems to be advertising a sports car now we transition to another shot right here this is coming from yo mama's jammer who said rip rudy see you in heaven cuz and this shot right here is showing off not only this guy doing some impressive driving but this green truck with this very cool metallic -y I, I believe that rockstar games is gonna um, influence another degenerate uh, uh degenerate what's the word generation <laughs> Man, this is gonna spawn in a lot more TikTokers doing all that crap. If it wasn't as bad as it is already now, like it's gonna become even worse, bruh. Paint job. This seems like it's new to GTA 6, and you guys can see there that some of the stickers on the back say Vice Vinyl, Ride Out Customs, Crosstown, and then another sticker that says Wrap It Like It's Hot. So this might be a wrap, not necessarily a paint job, but again, really impressive that this guy is able to drive like this. I don't know if we're going to see that in the game or if that's something you'll only see on these social media updates like this. Either way, that was pretty cool. We then get our and next- somebody pointed out that this game trailer had a lot more of these shots, like TikTok shots, than the actual gameplay. And I agree, it had a lot more of that, but more, more of that, but in those TikTok shots, we see the game, right? We actually see the map, we see uh, the graphics, we see a little bit of gameplay as well, and engine gameplay, I guess, but we just see a little of bit. What is easily the creepiest thing in this entire trailer. Like we definitely see the definition of Florida man oh, here, yeah. who is watering his lawn. Uh, I lawn. Yo, get your, get some clothes on, man. This is what happens when you're poor, guys, I guess, you know? Like, uh, this is what happens. Maybe maybe you need to go Village de Valor. This is uh, like a secondhand store, uh, which I used to go back in the days with, uh, with my papa, you know, with my daddy, though. Uh, that, that's where they got like secondhand clothes. Uh, whenever there's a sale, you go there. Uh, not necessarily, we wouldn't, we wouldn't necessarily buy clothes, but it's, uh, it had a lot of, like, when I was a kid, it had a lot of really good toys as well. We had PlayStation 2 games there as well. There were a lot of, like, actually, like, really good stuff that people would drop by. I don't think people would sell, it's just like, hey, if you have some stuff that you do not need, you come here, give it to us, and then we will price it and we will sell it. Bruh. And make profit, that's basically what it was. So, maybe, go there, homie, get some clothes, bruh. Get some clothes, dog. Like, we are able to see a lot, a lot right there, bro. I very much hesitant to call it that. He's got sunburn all over his back. He's wearing Damn. a red thong, and he's got this awful visor and glasses. But it looks like that's his house. That's his home front. He's trying to take care of it. You can't really blame him. Transitioning to what looks to be like another in-game television show. I think this is Tracy. Oh, this one is called Thrill Billy Mud Club. So this is probably something that you will see on in-game TVs. But more importantly, we can also see a handful of off-roading vehicles in the background too. You've got lifted monster trucks, big pickup trucks. You've even got these sort of two-seater off-road ATVs. This looks like a really cool like mud park where you can do a lot of off-roading and four by fours and whatnot. You've got this girl in the American flag bikini going up to the camera all excited. You've got a guy that looks like Tim the Tap Man in the background who's also <laughs> very... Hey, yo, nah, bruh, you didn't just say what I, what I heard. <laughs> what? Tim? Is that little Timmy right there? Nah, bruh, come on, bro. I mean, 
Bruh. Bruh. Very excited. Another guy drinking a beer who is equally as excited for what's going on here. Again, that feels like it is an in-game TV show uh, that we'll be able to see in GTA 6. Now, moving on, our next shot and also parody of what looks to be social media coming from Lucha Libre fan. Neighborhood Watch, don't play around in Hamlet. So I guess Hamlet is also one of the neighborhoods. And this is what- Damn, she coming in with the, those double hammers, bro. Like if she go like, tack, tack, it's like pow, bro. This lady has to say, this is one of the clips that actually does have audio. Well, look who's back. So it sounds like she was about to mess that guy up with her dual wielding hammers there. I don't suspect that that's going to be a thing that we can do, but I did find this to be pretty cool. And Hamlet just seems to be a little bit of a rundown area. Just looking at the background, this looks kind of like an old hotel with like the dumpster just right up front and her vehicle has like smashes in the windshield or bullet holes. So it really doesn't seem like an all that well off area. And then it transitions to this insane party scene. If I were to speculate, I WWE is real, my brothers. There we are, boys. This game gonna have a lot of Karens. I'm all up for it. I would say this is at the same place that that Thrill Billy Mud Club Damn. is at just at night. Shot Michael's so I wonder if there. this is all part of the same thing because when the guy lands, he's like covered in dirt. But really what I gathered from this is again, so many NPCs around just doing really cool stuff. I mean, I guess I don't know if I would call that cool. Jumping yeah, onto a table nah, just like that, but it's it, it's not cool it's like for the win kind of stuff he's they're they're doing you know what i'm saying this is for the win boys i'm gonna jump going over on the top rope about to take a jump and rkl out of nowhere and for the win rkl for the win out of nowhere i should say i mean bruh. Bruh. It does look like there is so much going on, and that's really exciting. Now, our next shot right here, we actually get our first look. It cures emotions. Oh, damn, son. At Jason. But before we get to that, there's a lot going on in the background and in the billboards. The so it looks like on the right, that is an advertisement for the Evergreen Mall. So that's going to be one area that I guess we can access. And there is a handful of different stores there, like Scala. Callus, Colasio, and there's a couple of others that I can't quite put my name on what they might be. One of them seems to be called MD. Another one seems to be called Alpha. I'm not sure what those stores are, or if we're able to go inside them like we were with the mall in Vice City. But on the left-hand side, it looks like, and I don't know if this is supposed to be like a, a parody, but it's Angstapan. It says, it cures emotions, America's favorite disassociative. So I don't know what that's supposed to be, if we're able to get that in-game or not. As Yeah, I like the guy, like one healthy guy, Mr. Clean guy and one sick person they are smiling once they have found this. I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe it's like a solution to AIDS? Uh, you know? Uh, I don't know what this is for. I don't know. Some police cars roll by and I was trying to make out the name of the police cars but uh, I can't actually see anything other than Sheriff. But what we can see there is their color scheme of the green and the white and then it transitions to our first look at Jason. And yeah. Jason's wearing a white t-shirt with a... Jason looks completely different in the actual uh, game game, and in the artwork. This is the official artwork. Lucia looking beautiful though. She looking like a snack right now. And she looks kind of similar. Obviously change a little bit in the, the final uh, trailer that we... final trailer version in comparison to the, the gameplay that leaked out last year. But Jason is looking completely different. I don't know, man. He. I hope they didn't give him a Bud Light because looks like that he got a Bud Light. I hope they do not emasculate him, though. Black Paisley bandana. He's got sort of a close scruffy beard, a short haircut, and it looks like lightish green colored eyes. And then it transitions to Lucia outside of her orange inmate jumpsuit. He looking like Pack-a-Puncher, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. If you guys know, if you guys get the reference. It looks like a little bit like Pack-a-Puncher, bruh. Like 20 or nah, pack a bunch of at 30 years old. That's what it look, he looks like. Wearing a black tank top and red bandana, as well as earrings. And it also looks like she has a lot of makeup on. So I'm not going to say this is her first time getting out of prison, especially considering she's holding what looks to be a stack of $100 bills. So Dang. it actually looks like in this instance. Uh, can I brother get one below here? Just can I brother get a two robbery. pennies? <laughs> now, our next shot is this Weasel News report, which is absolutely chaotic. It's coming in at 1034 Eastern Time, and the Headline is no overturning zone. Cops arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's Dine and Dash. So I bet Pee Wee's is the name of the restaurant. And you can also see some cool cop cars right there that sort of have like that tan or orangish top as yeah. well as a motorcycle driving yeah, yeah, by yeah, 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 a yeah, yeah. white van that looks like it has the red logo of a different company. I'm not sure what that is. A handful of other trucks driving by. And look at those barrels in the detail of Holy. how they've exploded after the car ran into them. I wonder if that's what we're going to see on the streets Dang. of Vice City as well. And look at this. It's kind of like a dynamic event 
playing out as they're actually dragging the guy out of the car. That certainly looks like an interesting scene. Our next shot right here looks like it's video footage of an inmate. This is the corrections department at the sheriff's- Yeah, that's like a druggie right there. Uh, but this also, for some weird reason, give me vibes of undead nightmare i don't know why because guy looks like a zombie you know what i'm saying like this is probably why i would love to see zombies uh like undead nightmares sometime in the future but if we ever get that that's probably gonna be like 20 years later or something like that you know what i'm saying it's office of vice dale county and you can see that the logo there looks to be a lady in a red dress whose baby in white is getting fed to an alligator as a serpent comes from the tree, the sun rises, and a boat comes in. That is the seal of Crazy, the county. Man. That is incredibly interesting. And it looks like this guy is a pretty interesting looking criminal. He's got purple hair. He's got tattoos all over the place. And I don't know if he is just significant to the storyline or if this is just an in-game event that you can witness. But either way, it took up about two or three seconds of the trailer. So Rockstar definitely wanted us to know notice it certainly in this next shot right here we see a crew of gang members riding their motorbikes as well as their yeah, yeah, yeah. atvs and this looks like yeah brothers are definitely wheeling do not try this this at home uh, and also do not try this on the streets my brothers it's kind of also a little bit of a rundown area as you can see it kind of looks like trailers or double wides but either way there's a lot of cool details that you can notice on the vehicles here lots of interesting liveries and designs and npcs wearing all sorts of different types of clothing and helmets and whatnot and i feel like this also jumps into the next shot that Rockstar wanted to show us. It's a Weasel News sort of broadcast that says, Dirt Bike Dirt Bags, Cops Fail to Stop Thugs on Motorbikes Terrorizing Vice City. And you can also see a handful of other little headlines as well. Leonida man sucked up in water spout, demands city to buy him a new suit. Then it says Vice City Girls. I think this is probably going to be like a two-star wanted level, but the cops are just standing there with thumbs up their asses. I don't know what they're doing though. Dirt bike, dirt bags, cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. Yeah, like they're standing there with thumbs up their asses, but... Officially something, and then patient wins Vice City Marathon. That's what you can see. Don't know what that means, but you can also see more police cars there, more comments. Seems like this is absolute chaos on the streets of Vice City. And I think we're getting a look at what Rockstar's parody of Instagram is here. It's this heart with this sort of rounded edge square on there. You can see it's High Rollers Mag. Yeah, we and got I, a stud donut out I here. I don't know what this is. Asking for you to smash that like button, boys. Smash that like button. Supposed right to be a shot of, but you can see in the background a couple of things going on. A billboard with a sign that says, who hurt you? A traffic and highway sign for waning sands if you end up going north. And a handful of these vehicles have decals on them. This is something by something custom. Jason and Lucia are robbing up some sort of convenience store. It looks like it's- Yeah, she's like the on the upfront though. So I, I do believe that this game is not gonna have two protagonists. I mean, yeah, we got Jason, but I think the main, 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 main protagonist is Lucia and this is like the side protagonist or something like that, bro. Bruh. They bought a change that's like his gender, the way it's going, bro. It's gonna be close to like a fishing area. As you can see, there's fishing gear in the background. There's also a security camera that might pose as trouble. And it also looks like the clerk area of the convenience store might have some bulletproof glass there. That could be interesting. They're both holding cash in their hand, which is a good sign they ended Probably. up getting away. Look at all the detail on the bottles, whether it's vodka or bourbon. Yeah, good sign they ended up getting away, my brother. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Boss loves to get a wee sometimes too, you know? Or whether it's some other drink like chips, Pizvazer, or E. Cola. The detail of all the brands here is incredible. incredible you can see a handful yeah. of them go by right now. We but had this uh, in the actual GTA 6 gameplay leak as well. And then those suckers put it in GTA Online, I believe on a car. We did talk about it. That was an interesting little tease. And now we actually see it in the game as those well. Those look like their various beer brands. There goes E. Cola. There seems to be a snack on the left-hand side that are called Jesters. So you'll probably be able to buy those as well as what looks to be a parody of cheetos so lots of cool stuff here including pizvazer for 14.99 spread the fizz of e cola lager beer as well as even some jelly that you can see on the left hand side again these are just things that i'm picking up as we go along it then transitions to a shot of jason and lucia getting away now the store they seem to be getting away from or at least in this shot is a pawn store and a gun shop it'll be very interesting if we can utilize a pawn feature in the game certainly gun stores will obviously be available like ammunition it's yet to be seen what that is to be called but jason is driving with one hand and lucia is actually bracing herself mm. on one of the window bars here on the car very cool looks like this is a four-door dukes man imagine you're a kid right now right after all that stuff that we've seen in the trailer and you're a kid how are you gonna convince your parents to buy you this game right like imagine like holy i don't know man i don't know uh, because when I was a kid, I remember uh, my parents, I mean, gaming at that time was like 
for example, San Andreas, right? Obviously, I had a cover girl, GTA 5. I was 17, so I bought it myself. But San Andreas, I mean, graphically speaking, the game didn't look that real the way this game looks right now. So I think that's why I was able to convince uh, my parents and they didn't view it. They didn't second look at it. They didn't double guess it or second guess it. They were like, yeah, man, you want to play? Okay, let's just get you a game you have been crying for way too long now. But I cannot imagine, like, if you're like 12 years old right now and you should this trailer to your parents mommy mommy i want to buy gta 6 i want to buy gta 6 i don't think those uh, i don't think the parents gonna let you purchase and i guess for good reasons because it got a lot happening man a lot of like girls shaking and crap like that bruh and this is happening in the know, town man. of port gelhorn as you can see the car slide by it says port gelhorn pawn and gun with a speed limit of 55 miles per hour you can also see another store whs shoes as well as a handful of other brands underneath and it actually looks like they're heading to their motel tell because this is the next shot right here and i feel like this means that jason and lucia are romantically involved as you can see she looks to be undressed he is not dressed either he is completely shirtless they have money and beer on the side table as they're in this motel and you can also i mean it's not that they're together it just happens to be his turn you know what i mean right I mean, she is going to be switching sides very soon. See that they're talking to each other right there. And I want to play back this entire sequence because it gives us a good idea of Jason and Lucia's relationship and where things might be when the story starts. The only way we're going to get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Trust? Trust. So the key word there is trust. They feel like they have to trust each other. And maybe that trust is a little bit lost at the beginning of the game. Now, where they dive into next is apparently Uncle Jack's Liquor. This is the store they just kick on open. So it looks like they're- it Reminds me of that gameplay, first ever gameplay league that we had where we saw them robbing. Robbing a liquor store here. There's a handful of different items that you can see here, like Zesta Soda, Pizvazer Beer, some snacks on the left-hand side. They are definitely doing a robbery here. They have left the door open of that car, and they also have their balaclavas on, which will probably prevent them from immediately being spotted by the cops, or at least giving them a better chance to get away. And and then, of course, it fades into our logo coming in 2025. So that right yeah. there is my complete sort of frame by frame. Man, this game is going to be crazy, y'all. And this was, uh, if you want to see the entire map walkthrough, you want to see the entire map. If you've done the entire map walkthrough, click on this video on the screen. Let me know your thoughts, guys. It's been, it has been a pleasure. And I'll see you right there. Check this out, my, br uh, my brother.